What's up everybody? Welcome back to Logical, Plausible, Probable. In this video, you're going to see the much anticipated annihilation of the one and only standing for truth as I finally give him what for and call him out on all the creationist talking points that he spews ad nauseum. You don't want to miss it. But before we get into this utter annihilation, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs before Christmas, only got 30 to go. So please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to get notified when new videos like this one go live, make sure to click the little bell icon. Now, without further ado, let's get into the annihilation of Standing for Truth. But LPP is in the house. What's up, John? Good to see you, buddy. LPP, join in the discussion. You missed a good discussion. Uh, running from truth. <laughs> <laughs> running from truth. Wait well, a minute. I, this isn't I, John. This is a hacker. No, I've, <laughs> I've decided that tonight I'm going to play devil's advocate and be the antithesis of standing for truth. Oh! <laughs> okay, then, Mr. You, you know, you know this guy, you know, engineer. You know, this guy comes in here and like talks a big game all the time and acts like <laughs> academia just doesn't know what they're talking about. And, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really getting tired of it. You know, the fact that you just run around and completely discount all of the PhDs who just say that you're an idiot. I mean, I, I don't know how you continue to look yourself in the mirror. I mean, I understand why you hide your face from the rest of us, because obviously... <laughs> You know that you can't actually back up your claims. Like, and and my face is deformed. Don't forget about that. <laughs> Are you going to deny the fact of evolution? Um, yeah. So How adaptation has been proven. Okay, that is evolution. Evolution okay. is proven. Okay. That's <laughs> hey hey. I'm a science and, denier. Hey, I'm a, I'm a creationist. I don't believe in science. I think everything's a big oax. I mean, the earth is flat. Actually, you know what? We should, John. I want to play devil's advocate real quick, okay? So, John, see, see standing for truth is trying to cough me again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but, but John changes in allele frequencies. I mean, it's undeniable. It's there. Alleles change. That's evolution. Listen, <laughs> listen, we, that? we, hey, 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 listen, Back. listen. We only need about a hundred thousand, or sorry, a uh, hundred proteins in order to in order to counter. Uh, the air to maintain homeostasis. That's all we need is a hundred genes. You're denying facts of science. No, you're denying science. Science denier. Listen, I'll there's listen. If you understood deep time, okay, you would recognize and realize that a hundred genes and a hundred proteins popping out of nothing is totally reasonable. Okay, well, here's let's the thing. Uh, give it time the... and it will happen. Listen, some of those things might be an open question there, John, but listen, how do you explain shared ERVs between humans and chimps? I mean Case closed there, bud. ERVs, best evidence for evolution. Um, well, I'm glad that we're in agreement. I hey. guess you can go ahead and uh, tell everybody that you've just been uh, lying to them this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, remember, I'm in it for the money, apparently. I've seen a few comments lately. <laughs> in it for the money. I think I've lost money doing it. Are you denying uh, that monkey have two arm and two legs? Are you denying that we come from monkeys? You cannot deny that. Uh, that's true. You can't. I mean, look at all the similarities. Binocular vision, both mammals. <laughs> even mud puddles don't even know they're not designed. I mean, come on. Or right, I'm gonna I'm gonna provide a new theory. I don't think we come from monkey, we come from kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen those snakes with legs on them? I mean, there you go, evolution. Yep. Explain that walking snakes. He, hey, 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 hey uh, John, no matter what you say, you just pull a David Neff. Yeah, but heat problem, heat problem, 22,000 <laughs> degrees Celsius, heat problem. <laughs> I'm going oh, to be it, debunking, eh? I'm going to be debunking God, get ready for that ultimate question. Where does God come from? Explain that to me. <laughs> um, I mean, listen, if you actually think that god exists then i have some farting purple pixie dust fairies that will <laughs> come and you know they act like genies sometimes to mix metaphors and they will like make your dreams come true so you know they are god it's true all right if you give it enough time okay trust me nothing will be something 
That's like, I mean, it's, I'm wondering when atheists are going to realize that their worldview is stupid, or maybe they're just being willingly ignorant. Hey, don't call John stupid. He's running. He's, uh, yeah, he's I'm an evil charge. He's running I'm from sorry. truth today. Well, no, I'm, I'm actually projecting your fallacy onto you myself. <laughs> 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 I'm fallacy less. No, like, but, uh, as a say, sidebar, did any of you guys watch that? Well, on one side, rational and logical, um, realistic expose on capitalism, and then the childlike, literally naive little soy boy uh, on the other over on MDD tonight with the capitalism versus socialism debate. No, I didn't watch it. Was it good? <laughs> no. I didn't even know there was there. Oh, I didn't even know there was a debate there tonight. Was there, how was it? Oh my goodness, it was painful. This bo- this little child, the. Well, let's just say when I asked uh, the question I asked, which was, um, are you in college? If so, who's paying for it? Or if so, are you paying for it? And is that money, or sorry, if you're if you're paying for it, is that money from inheritance, money you earn, or gift from a third party? And he refused to answer the question and just said, I'm not in college. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, dude. Um, you live at home with mommy. You're clearly a well-off little kid. Who, I mean, the, the word that all of the talking points coming out of this kid's mouth about socialism. I mean, it's like, wow, dude. You have been like, you put together some serious bullet points of socialism talking points. I mean, it's like the fantasy land he lives in. This kid lives in is is amazing. But the best part. Holy crap. I'm not kidding you. Like every 10 to 15 seconds, this kid had to move hair out of his eyes. Oh, and, he, <laughs> and he said he had just had a haircut. It's like, oh. bro, you have like, you have to flick your hair more than a woman. Wait, was that snake was right? Is it the guy's snake was right? No, no, this is not snake was right. This is some other. No, th- actually this kid made, <laughs> this kid makes snake was right appear to be an alpha male. He's like, he's like he snake snake was right. compared to this kid's name is mouthy infidel. Okay. Compared to snake was or snake was right. Compared to him is uh, Dwayne Johnson. Like, but before he started calling himself, going back to his real name, back when he was in the WWE, like, Snake was right. Is the Rock compared to this mouthy infidel kid? Wait, uh, have you guys have you guys seen that debate uh, when Aaron Ra debated and flattered, and Aaron Ra rage quit? Yeah, Nathan Thompson. Yeah, Nathan Thompson. I think he's just a troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of get that yeah, same just, vibe too. I mean, he gets money. That's why he does it. They, like, he, I, all these flat earth people want, want to believe this crap. And well, that's why John, can't. that's why John's a young earth creationist. He's in it for the money, fortune, fame. He's a, he's yeah. a prop. Like, he's I'm standing gonna, for lies. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually believe that the earth is a cube. <laughs> oh, nice. The Bible support it. Well, Revelation says there will be, so good job, yeah, buddy. I mean, you're denying the facts now. Well, I'm starting to think that, that dinosaurs uh, didn't actually exist, and uh, Satan, he planted those bones there on purpose just so people would believe in pond scum to people evolution. All right, so I, I right, actually, What do you all think about my new, uh, the name, what did I switch my name to? Well, I can't I see. see it. Yeah, remove the, the commentary, I am. Oh, uh, um, well, actually, real quick, I just read it. Uh, Brother uh, Chris Keith, um, I'm sorry about your loss. And um, I I think I speak for all of us here that we're here for you, brother. And we love you. What what happened? What happened? Yeah, what happened, Chris? uh, His comment that you had up there, he had a loss today in the family. Oh, no. Let me me read this. Let's all pray for him, boys. And let's pray that God keep him strong and keep him. Um, in the faith, and that God may reveal and help him accepting things that we cannot understand. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So I'm sorry for your, I, my condolences for you, Chris, brother. And um, if you need any anything, let me know. And God bless you. I, I'll, I'm going to pray for God to Absolutely. comfort you and comfort you during these tough times. I know He will do that. Yep. Denier. Of consensus. <laughs> he jumps in here. No, no, no. no Ron, get him out of here. Ron Garrett, is that you? 
<laughs> have you read the literature? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just love when you, when you present them a paper? I get it all the time in the comment section where it's like, I went and looked at standing sources and the authors don't agree with him. They're not young earth creation. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you just state the obvious. I never said they were. <laughs> they can't literally, they're incapable. These evolutionists, these naturalists, they're incapable of thinking outside the box. They're incapable of critical thinking. They're just going to blindly believe the conclusion of the authors. You know, ignore the data, ignore what the data implies and suggests. Just blindly believe the conclusions from the. I heard you go, guys. I'm, I'm not a creationist, signs denier. <laughs> First picture of Rob on the street. No, but I mean, like they they dream. <laughs> they dream. <laughs> they dream. <laughs> uh, no, but like they like you know when you watch those all those monkey that they made like it's, it's such a joke. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and recognize the obvious parody. Um, a lot of times atheists don't seem to pick up on the fact when I'm using humor, sarcasm, uh, even being very direct about the fact that I'm not actually being literal. Um, so hopefully this caveat will uh, stem some of the crazy comments. But if you're an atheist, I hope you were able to recognize some of the extreme sarcasm, the lunacy, and perhaps will use this as a catalyst to go and research some of the talking points that you have been told have been proven beyond all doubt and maybe go check out for yourself if what you're being told is actually 100% true. But that's it for this video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that bell icon, and make sure as you consider all the things that make up your very existence, the conclusion you reach on how you exist is logical, plausible, and probable. <laughs>